This is Mum's 40th birthday DVD. It is presented by myself and also our latest edition, The Young Poppy, is involved. Rather too much for my liking. We will show you our favourite haunts around 14 Huxley Close and we'll also give you an insight into the relationship between myself and the aforementioned Young Poppy. I do hope you enjoy our quick tour of life with the loves, especially Mum. Happy birthday, Mum. Hope you enjoy your day. You're a lovely Mum and have a lovely day. This is our house and our car where I live with my Mum, Dad, Sam, Mum, Emily, Mum and Dad and Meg, my big sister Meg, and that's my car again there, look. Anyway, this is a quick video. What? What's up there, Meg? Poppy and Meg move over to see Lily. This is Lily's house. It's where she lives and it's her house. And we don't go in there because Lily is antisocial and dirty and also cheap. But me and Meg's quite cheap as well. She She's cheaper than me. I'm very, very expensive and we sleep in the house. But Lily sleeps out here in the cold all winter long. It must be freezing in there. Lily, is it cold in there? Ruff! What? That's the problem with you, Lily. You're very, very antisocial. Leave her alone, Poppy. She's all right where she is. She likes sit out here. <laughs> What's... Sorry about that. I think that's one of our cameramen having a little bit of a giggle. I don't know why anybody would think he's laughing at us, Meg. Anyway, Lily, if you're not going to come out, we're off. Bugger off! Leave me alone! Meanwhile, Poppy and Meg have spotted the car again. They think it's time for a walk. We're going for a walk next. We're going to Lithel or the Mere or Lith... Hell or maybe t for a walk somewhere because mum takes us in the car and we get out and we have a run and we come back in the car, don't we Meg? Having realised that they're not actually going anywhere, our two friends move through to the back garden. This is Dad's lawn. Unfortunately, Meg's ruined it. Look at it. She runs around like a mad thing and she's dug it all up. I keep telling her to stop, but she never listens. Do you, Meg? That's absolutely wrong, isn't it? Off camera, Meg has made a complaint. She feels that the last scene made her look like a scapegoat for the state of the garden. We move on with Poppy having assured Meg that she won't dump her in it again. We rejoin our friends a few minutes later, still in the back garden. Poppy, this, my friend, is the barbecue, where Dad cooks lots of lovely meat all summer, and there's often plenty to go round for all of us. So I think we're going to enjoy that, aren't we? Yes, we are, but the lawn is your fault, Meg! This is the trampoline. I like it up here because I'm allowed to play on here because I'm only small and light. Unlike Meg, 
who's big and fat, and she'd break it if she came up here on the trampoline, wouldn't you, Meg? So you don't get any variety, but I do. Anyway, I'm going to play on here now for a little while while you disappear, Meg, or go to the toilet or something. Poppy has had a play on the trampoline, Meg has been to the toilet, and both dogs have now moved over to the bench. Now then, Poppy, there's not been a lot of respect, really, has there from you during the making of this DVD, so I'm going to tell you a little story about loyalty and respect. It's about a border collie called Tip. Tip! Yes, Tip. In 1953, Tip and her master, a Joseph Tag, isn't it? An 81-year-old gamekeeper had been out on one of their long walks on the moors when, very sadly, the old man passed away. For 15 weeks, search parties failed and were set back due to severe frost and snowstorms. The man and his dog were presumed dead when a couple of men rounding up stray sheep in early spring came across the body of Tip's master with a starving and sickly Tip on guard beside it. She had waited for over three months through the worst of the winter for help to come for the one she loved. Tip spent her last year with a niece of Joseph Tag where she was awarded the highest honour that a dog can receive and a year after her death a memorial was unveiled in the area isn't that a lovely story about respect poppy well it's all right meg but there's one thing tip isn't a dog's name tip is a place where you put rubbish where mum and dad go on the weekend with the rubbish that's what tip means not a dog's name so i don't believe that that's a real story and another thing i wanted to say the garden is your fault meg and so don't be all funny arsed with me about it just because i'm a young puppy i have to run around and get exercise but most of the damage is caused by you, isn't it, Meg? I'm thinking tonight of the old rustic bridge that bends o'er the murmuring stream. It was there, Maggie dear, with our hearts full of cheer. We straight neath the moon's gentle beam. Was there I first met you, the light in your eyes, awoke in my heart. 